Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video here on KF Plus LEGO Mastery. Now in this one, what I have for you today is a single overhead cam, dual overhead valve LEGO vacuum engine. Now what's so special about this engine is that it actually utilizes real cams and real poppet valves that open up into the cylinder. And I know you can't see them actually opening up, but if I do turn it this way and if there's no glare you may be able to see it but if we look in the exhaust port here you'll see that the valves actually do open up into the cylinder but I'll get a different view of it in a little bit later on in the video as you can see it has a timing chain and cams but yeah I'll go more into depth about the head after I run this engine and show you guys how it works Alright you guys, so without any further ado, let's get right into running this engine. So everyone, now that we have actually ran this engine, it's obviously not the fastest engine, but it's mainly the concept that matters, like I always say. Let's view how it actually works. So guys, now that we've actually got the actual cylinder head off, you can actually view the valves and how they work. So this side is the exhaust valve, this side is the intake valve, and this is how we actually get the valves to open and close. So as you can see, exhaust valve opens when the piston is going down, and then the intake valve opens as the piston is coming up and the piston is obviously sucked up and it closes just before it reaches top dead center and then the exhaust valve opens when, it's, when the piston starts to go down. Now this cam system is really simple. I just used um, the two long cams here, as you can see, and I didn't implement rollers so that they're a little bit more smooth. And yeah, this is also a good time to mention that these are tensioned by rubber bands. So yeah. And inside these walls, I'll try to get a better look. As you can see, we have the rubber bands that are being pushed down and, and stretched. So when the cam pushes down, it stretches the rubber band. And when the cam goes back up, it only pulls it back up. It's a very clever design, actually, and I made it and I managed to make it very compact. And yeah, it has proved to work really well. And I think this design has a lot of um, potential. I would like to mention 
that I got a lot of inspiration from Engine One Ears design of his um, engine. It was a very awesome engine. So go check it out. I'll link his channel down in the description if you want to go check it out. But yeah, so I again I used ins inspiration from that to make these valves. As for the cylinder, I'm using a six by four piston. Now, engineer used a six by eight piston, which um, I did try, but I figured I'd use a smaller piston as the bigger piston actually worked a little slower than mine. So yeah, I used a smaller piston and it proves to work just fine, I guess. So yeah. So guys, that's going to just about wrap up today's video. I hope you all did enjoy this short video about my not very impressive single overhead cam engine. Um, if you have an idea of what I should do next or any tutorials I should do, please leave a comment and I will certainly get to it and uh, read all your comments. So that's all for today. Hope you all did enjoy and I will see you all in the next video. See you later.